coming back to re return for well, the Panthers. It's going to be a, a short kick. The field is at the 30-yard line, and the Tigers are going to reverse size the field and break it up the sideline. It's going to be taken down at the 40-yard the line. The tackle made by Ty Braddock and Jalen Naylor. Panthers are going to come out with two receivers. Send a receiver in motion. Hands off to the running back on the opposite side. Breaking tackles up the field. It's going to be tackled by Kai Braddock. Take it down just short of midfield. The 48-yard line. Going to be second down and about three. Three receivers set, two to the left, one to the right. Center receiver in motion, gonna hand it to the running back. It's gonna be a fumble on the play. Looks like it's gonna be recovered by the Tigers. And it is a great defensive stand for the Tigers. A lot of confusion on the Panthers handoff. And got dropped for a fumble. Looks like Zach Rogers in on the tackle that caused the fumble. And turnover right at midfield. So the Tigers have come up huge on offense and defense on that defensive drive. So the Tigers get the ball back at midfield with 8.42 left in the first half of tight ball game at 14. Come out with three receivers, two to the left, one to the right. Ducksworth to the left. The Smith Smith drops back, looking deep. Has a man! Has a man! Oh, oh Jalen Naylor! Wow, what a great job by Jalen Naylor! Had two defenders over him. Just caught the pass. Took, got taken down at the 10-yard line. Wow, unbelievable. So second time that Mason Smith and I'm sorry, Jalen Hudson have been able to kick, connect on long touchdown passes tonight. Same, same formation. Smith with the snap. Going to hand it to Ducksworth. It's going to be a flag on the play. It's going to be a false start against the Tigers. Sorry, illegal procedure against the Tigers. Going to be first and 15 for the Tigers. Is the ball is going to be placed at the 18 yard line. Same formation. Smith with the snap. Get it off to Dutchworth. Dutchworth going up the middle. Gives it out to about the maybe the 10 yard line. Great offensive performance. Well, the offensive line did a great job of creating a huge hole for the go through. Go through, and it's a and Mason Smith who had the high snap, so he had to run back to get the ball, and he's going to be taken down deep in the backfield at about the 27 yard line. So, after the great run by Dutchworth, high snap by the center, Smith had to jump up just over his outstretched hands and had to run back, and luckily picked up the ball. And then Zach Tackleton had to fall on the ball. It's going to be third and extremely long for the Tigers. Come out with three, four receivers, three to the right, one to the left. Ducksworth to the left of Smith. Smith with the snap. Josh Bat looking at Hazard. Has Ducksworth over the middle. Has blockers. He's going to be taken down to the 15-yard line. It's going to bring up fourth down. So what turned out to be a good offensive drive ended up in a lot of plays 
for a loss of yards for the Tigers. Jason Garcia comes on to attempt. Field goal. Good hole. The kick is up. And it's going to be good. So it's 6 8 left in the first half. The Tigers take their first lead of the game, 17 14. Jason Garcia gets set to, to kick it away after his successful field goal attempt. Number three and number 27 back to return for the Panthers. It's going to be a short kick. It's going to be filled about the 27 yard line. It'll Tigers are going to get down there rather quickly. He's going to take number 22 down at about the 38-yard line. First and 10 for the Panthers. So the Panthers are going to come out with four receivers, one I'm sorry, five receivers, two to the left, three to the right. Empty backfield, quarterback drops back, goes deep, has a wide open receiver, and he's just off to the races. He's going to take it in, 70 yards for the touchdown. Not sure what happened on the, on the coverage by the Tigers, but it was non-existent on that play as the Panthers regained the lead. With 550 remaining in the first half. I mean, the quarterback just dropped back, had a wide open receiver. I'm just not sure what happened on that defensive coverage. And the field goal is no good, so even though it was a, a touchdown, they, the, deep, the special teams unit blocks the field goal. So with 5.50 remaining in the first half, the Tigers trailing 20 to 17 after the defense just totally blew a play, allowing the receiver to get open and go 70 yards for the touchdown. The receiver was virtually untouched. Tiger gets set to take the field kickoff. Back to receive. Back to receive is Caleb Bryant and Creed Johnson. So action-packed ball game here tonight, both back-to-back -back scoring. It was kind of anticipated this here tonight as both teams are undefeated in division play. The Panthers kick it off. It's going to be picked up. It's going to be picked up by Creed Johnson. He's going to get it out to about the 25-yard line. That's so what Tigers are going to set up shop first and 10. And there's a injured Panther down at the 15 yard line. It's, it's 
with number six. He's going to get up under his own strength. Being tended to by the head coach and the, the head official. I'm sorry, number four is the injured Panther. Well, the coach attending him, we're going to see if we can step away for a moment to hear from our sponsors as both teams are on the sideline. We'll be back in a few. Having AC issues? Does your vehicle no longer drive like new? Head on over to Keys Automotive in Laurel. Keys Automotive specializes in repairing foreign and domestic vehicles. Keys Automotive, located at 623 Arco Lane in Laurel, or call Charles Keys at 601-649-0517. Hey, this is Cody Hyatt, linebacker and DB for the Northeast Jones Tigers. Thank you for listening to the broadcast brought to you by Scenic Productions, LLC. And welcome back to the broadcast as the Tiger offense takes the field with 554 remaining. I'm sorry, 546 remaining in the first half here in Panther Stadium. It's homecoming night here for the Panthers. The Tigers are going to line up the receivers. Two to the left in stack formation. One to the right. Christian Lowry and that flanker. Ducksworth lined up. The running back is going to get it out to Hudson. Hudson going to avoid a tackler. Going to get it out a little past the, the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 25-yard line. Going to be up second down tackle for a loss of about one yard the same formation Smith with the snap gets it off to Ducks well Ducks were looking for a running lane trying to get out of the way of his blockers He's going to be taken down at the 25 yard line. Going to bring up third down. Going to be about nine yards to go. Now the five minute mark remaining in the first half. Smith with the snap going to pump fake, going to keep it himself, trying to loot a tackler. Going to be taken down at about the 24-yard line. Going to bring up fourth down. It's going to be fourth and 11. And on comes uh, the punt unit, led by Charlie Strickland. Turn for the Panthers, number seven and number three. Gonna be a nice high kick. Gonna take a, a nice deep roll. Gonna be picked up at a, about the 35 yard line. First and 10 for the Panthers, 14 remaining in this first half. Panthers leading 20 to 17. So hopefully a better defensive stand here for the Tigers as they had a not so good performance on their last time on defense. They allowed a 70-yard touchdown pass. The pass is going to come out with five receivers. Quarterback Dwight Jones deep in the backfield and just couldn't get the hands on the program down. And uh, and uh, Panthers going to be taken down at the 40-yard line. And the injured Tiger down at the 40-yard line is Jalen Naylor. And 